Hello friends, in this video we will discuss uh, how to post the uh, customer invoice and how to make uh, a receipt from the uh, customer. So you can see here the, the T code to post the customer invoice is FB70 and the reports can be displayed from uh, FBL, FBL5N. So to post the uh, incoming receipt, I have to go to the transaction F-28. So once the invoice is posted, it will appear in the uh, open item of the report FB and the, in the report uh, FBL 5N. And once the payment is received, it will be cleared. So I can't. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this in this video. Let me go into the uh, configuration. Okay. Let me post the uh, customer invoice first. The decode is FB 70. We have already created the customer master. Kindly refer uh, the video in my playlist. And I also have it listed in this description of this video. So I am entering the company code. So the title says it is a customer invoice with the company code BERP. So I can uh, enter my customer. I can search for my customer. It, uh, it displays today's date, invoice date and posting uh, date. Just click on enter. I will be displayed with the number of customers. So this is, I am using this customer number. Okay, let me post some amount. So here, so here I can use the uh, sales account. So it should be a credit and date nature. Let me use my uh, sales account. Okay. These accounts also already have created in my previous video. So I have not yet configured the tax. So I'm leaving this blank. So just click on enter. Okay. Specifies the valuable currency. Okay. It shows a uh, error. Let me open a new tab. FBN1. I have already discussed these errors in vendor configuration itself. Okay, I am going to have a new number range interval. Let me first check the error is. The number range 18 is missing in the year 2021. So I just enter 18 for the year 2021. The available number ranges okay from 301 to 400 the first current number is 301 okay okay once it is saved you can go to my invoice click on enter the error will be cleared and it will corresponds to the next uh, screen so my so you can see that the customer details have been displayed here okay let me simulate the uh, entry so the journal entry for this transaction is i am crediting the sales account and uh, debiting the customer account so it shows here 50 is the credit entry and 01 is a debit entry this uh, posting key configurations okay click on save okay the document is posted okay let me uh, let me show with the uh, report FBL 5N for customer uh, report customer line items Okay, my customer, I am entering the customer number. Okay, click on uh, open items for the current date. Just executing the report. Okay, it shows, this is the document just now posted, document number 302. Okay, let me uh, go to the payment, uh, receipt. The decoder is F-28. 
slash n f dash to date so I will receive the payment from my customer in this date the same date so the, the, the dogma type is dz let me enter the company code period will be automatically picked I will enter the currency k with the bank data let me enter the incoming account I am going to receive the payment in my uh, SB incoming account so the amount is 100 let me enter the value date okay let me uh, business area need to be entered okay then the profit center will be defaultly picked there is no need to do open item selection so customer account here the account type is T, T refers to the customer we can see here T is the customer okay then uh, click on process open items okay it shows the error uh, number range 14 is missing in the error okay let me the same uh, FBN1 T code let me uh, configure for the number range 21 Let be 400 is available. Okay, 400 is available. I can't give 400 here. Okay. Click on save. Okay. Then click on uh, op process open items. Okay. Here uh, we can see that the amount entered is 100 and uh, the assigned amount is also the same. Only if this is the case I can save this so that the payment will be processed the receipt will be processed okay we can see the document was posted okay let me check in the report FBL 5N okay I'm selecting the open item and executing it it shows there is no item selected I will select on the cleared item and then execute okay it shows the amount is cleared it is uh, cleared a report this is the uh, invoice I have posted and this is the uh, payment received from the customer so these are the two documents so likewise I can uh, post the customer invoice and uh, receipt from my customer so in our next session we will discuss about these special GL transactions in the same uh, customer and vendor invoices Hope this video will be uh, interesting and kindly give your support by subscribing to this uh, channel. Thank you guys. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.